Hi everybody, I'm Melinda and I'm bringing you another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how you can have multiple documents open in Clip Studio Paint and be able to view all of their canvases all at once. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, apparently if you've made any reference images or reference sketches in Clip Studio Paint that you want to refer to while you're working, it'd be really handy to be able to work in one window and have that visible on the other side. So what I've got here, I've this is basically the last comic that I completed, a comic for Bendy and the Ink Machine. And what I did before I drew all of this was I actually did a whole bunch of little doodles and sketches here. And I also did a sketch here of the human character. And you see here that they're actually visible in tabs. And this is the default in Clip Studio Paint. So what you can do, you can actually go to Window, Canvas, and go here to Tiled. And now they're tiled in a grid formation. Now, a Clip Studio Paint by default will tile all of these windows in a grid format, but what I can do, if I don't like the way they're arranged here, I can actually click this little tab here that shows the file name, I can click and drag that, and it turns red. And I can place that almost wherever I want. I mean, I can place it up here, there, I mean, I wonder, oh, I can have that take up the whole top there. So if I want to, I can actually make multiple columns. Uh, there we go. I can have three columns instead of two. And what I can also do, I can also take this and if there's no red highlighting area, I can actually disconnect it entirely from the interface. So this is now being treated like its own window. The really important thing I forgot to mention here is when you click and drag things around, that red area that appears when you hover your dragging thing, your canvas window, I think they're called, when you hover them over, that red area shows where it's going to be placed. So I can even have that as a separate tab if I want to. I mean, this might take a little bit of getting used to the way it works. <laughs> but I thought it was just a really useful little thing to have. And yeah, I, I relied on this a bit when I was drawing this comic. Apparently also when you have a floating window here, I'm going to disconnect that again. And this is something that you can only do when the windows are disconnected from the interface. You can go to Window, Canvas, Cascade. And that displays the windows on top of each other. And see, now I have all these windows stacked on top of each other, but I, I don't think it's really that useful when they're just, when all of the windows are floating. So, and if you don't like how this is laid out and you want them to be tabs again, you can drag that. That red area shows it's going to be a tab. There we go. And there we go again. So now they're all back in tabs again. Just one more thing, I've found that you can actually quickly switch between these canvases by going into Window, Canvas, and you can click the file names here. All of the open files, the files that you have open, are listed here. Uh. Alright, so I hope you got something out of this and I'll see you in the next tutorial.